I'm in Hi, I'm NES Complex, and you're watching J Love 81. And I'm in a weird location right now. This is really <laughs> weird and disturbing. Everybody, it's a girl J Love 81. What's going on, guys? Today, I'm gonna show you my pickups from Southeast Game Exchange 2019. I tell you what, this convention never disappoints. This is probably my favorite convention of all time. It was amazing, such an amazing experience. There were so many awesome people there. I can't express enough how grateful I am to be able to hang out with these people. They are so welcoming and you feel loved down in South Carolina. And I have to go back again next year. I had my very first panel with NES Attic and Russ Lyman and it was an honor to be with them and get to talk to people and meet people. And it was just a fantastic time. So I'm gonna show you what I've picked up. Now, first off, this particular item means the most to me. So there is a girl named Caitlin that has been one of our biggest supporters in the community. This girl has extreme talent and mind you, she has an awesome Luigi themed room. She is a big fan of Luigi and she knows I'm a big fan of Mario. She presented me with this picture and I was so, I almost cried. I was so happy. So look how cool this is. This is amazing. So she had did this to promote positivity. She had it framed and everything. So I'm sure there's a reflection, but hilarious. I love it. I love the way I'm standing. It looks like me to promote positivity. Thank you so much, Caitlin. She also was in charge of the badges. So everybody's badge obviously had a different character with a Sonic theme, as you can see from these cool shirts that Die Hard Gamer Bros assisted with making. He is such a talented man. I'm gonna hit him. He's so talented. But Caitlin made these cool badges as well. So I thought that was pretty neat. First person I'm gonna talk about is David Apuzo. He handed these out, which I thought was pretty cool. So he gave me a Ghostbusters high C Ecto cooler, which I think is pretty cool. And no, I'm not going to drink it. This is going to stay sealed forever. You know, you just never know. But thank you, David. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Check him out. He is talented. I seen his, he's a photographer and I have seen his work and it is amazing. He is always with Russ Lyman. They're really good friends and just an amazing person. I really enjoyed conversating with him. So thank you, David. I appreciate this. Next up, a buddy of mine named Eric had his booth at the convention. He does like, um, you know, artwork as far as stuffed animals and perler beads. And one caught my eye. One of my favorite games on the NES, Scrooge McDuck, DuckTales. And I had to get that from him. So. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. This is pretty cool. Next up, my buddy, Nintendo. I finally had the honor to meet Nintendo. We've been talking back and forth on people's streams, watching each other's videos, following each other on social media. He came all the way from Massachusetts, which is awesome, to come and hang out and meet us and then had nerve to present something to me that I highly appreciate. And it got a little bent from the drive, but that's okay because it's going to go on the wall. This cool poster. I mean, how, how cool is this? This is as this is as 80s as it's going to get, guys. That's the way the turtle should look. Thank you so much, Nintendo. You are awesome. Next up, we got some really cool things from Video Game Monthly. So Joe from Video Game Monthly handed these out to me, which I think is pretty cool. Do not disturb, I'm playing with my joystick. And yeah, I hung that I hung that in my hotel room. So yes, I had the nerve. I love this. This is awesome. Plus got some cool little wristbands. Play the past into the future. 
We got to represent. Always represent. Let's get 8-bit. I love these things. If anybody hands these out, get your girl. Get your girl. Now, BP Retro Power. He had a mind-blowing panel. He always does. He always nails his panels. He talks about, like, cleaning games and proper ways to and taking them apart and what to look for and he is an amazing person please check him out i'm gonna leave a link in the description below of all these awesome channels he was a nice enough he knew i was looking for this game right here mickey mania on the genesis he knew i was looking for this what does bp do i have a second one you can have it Gosh, I want to squeeze him so much. Brandon, you mean so much to me. I can't wait for next year. Hopefully we can conversate more. I know it was chaotic, but this means a lot. So we finally got Mickey Mania complete. I mean, how cool is this? Uh, yes, I started playing it and it is a lot of fun. How can I forget my boy? T Belly, Rockstar Belly, purchased his girl warrior world on the gamecube so i finally got this in my collection i've been wanting this game so bad so thank you so much t i really appreciate that and yes guys let me tell you something it is a lot cheaper in the southeast game exchange than any convention especially up north a lot cheaper so you will get the games sincerely cut in half in price i'm not joking i am not kidding you i bought a power glove at too many games for 90. they had it there for 40 dollars. this was my face when i asked the guy i said excuse me how much for that power glove and he told me 40 and i was just like this like my my eyes started switching Woo! i'm telling you so the prices are right so they come correct check out southeast game exchange i am telling you austin we gotta clap for austin i'm gonna be talking about you at the end Now, my boy, Die Hard Gamer Bros, the man, the legend, the talented man, purchased DuckTales on the PS3. So, thank you so much. I have this on digital, and now I have the physical, since they discontinued being able to download this game. This is awesome. The remastered version is awesome. Yes, the original is always going to be the best in my eyes, but this is a freaking fun game. So I highly recommend playing it if you didn't get a chance to get one of these. Now let's talk about my boy, Mega Dan 29. Me and Dan have this bond. I'm gonna hit him. Me and Dan have a bond with hacked games. We love hacked games. We always shop for hacked games. We talk about hacked games. Heck, we even did a hacked games video. So, if you want to check out that video, the link to that will be in the description below. He went ahead and got this for me. And you guys, obviously, if you've seen my Southeast Game Exchange video, you see the clip of when he handed it to me. <laughs> so, there you go. Super Mario Brothers 2 Christmas Edition. So, I thought this was pretty cool. So, this is the Christmas Edition. Same game. Just different uh, sprite swaps and making it all Christmassy. So I'm gonna stream this for fun. We're gonna save this. We're gonna save this for around Christmas time though. So we got a while. I wanna do that for the for the theme. So thank you, Dan. And also, because of Dan, I never knew about this game. So watching him play this, and I see a lot of people in the community play this, I finally got Heavy Barrel on the NES. Yes, Dan, for you. So I'm gonna be streaming that soon too. I like games like that a lot. I've seen him play it. I have tried it. It's a lot of fun. I suck at it, but gotta practice. Now let's talk about Robin. Robin and Robert, Video Game Cavern. Video Game Cavern, I wish I had the time to check out their shop. I never have time. I'm gonna have to come down to South Carolina early, but they had a booth at Southeast Game Exchange, always selling games. Last year I got Adventure Island, no. I got Super Adventure Island on the SNES, and this year, I got Last Action Hero on the Sega Genesis. Honestly, a lot of people talked a lot of crap about this. I like it. I like the game, but I love the movie. 
The movie was so corny, it was good. I liked the movie. I don't know what everybody's problem was. I thought it was entertaining, but it did flop. It's still one of my childhood movies. So yes, I had to get this on the Sega Genesis. So thank you, Robin and Robert. I'll be back. Ha, you did not gonna say that, did you? That's what you always say. Linda Gamer Girl scored me some codes to download Payday 2 on Steam. So Linda, I appreciate you. I'll have to check that out. Okay, so my buddy Craig had a booth down at Southeast Game Exchange really really good prices and you guys know how i feel about 8-bit collecting with my 8-bit world of nintendo characters so i scored this for two dollars which i thought was pretty cool so the black and white 8-bit classic mario definitely reminds me of super mario land i grew up with that so i thought that was pretty neat i think he's cute two bucks why not can't go wrong two bucks no nuts right jay seven no nuts while we're on the subject Craig also gave me a bag. Now, I knew about one item because he had told me he was going to do this for me. And it meant the world to me, but he hands me two items in this bag. One being a Sega Master System. I never owned one of these. I did not grow up with a Sega Master System. I have played it as a kid in like a cousin's house or something, but now I finally have a master system. So this is awesome. Yes, yes, Riff, I thought of you. I thought of you. Pixel Game Squad in the house. So I am so excited. So I got that. I also purchased the master system controller. Really got good deals down there. Ah. And the other thing he got me was an Intellivision. I, I couldn't believe this. I was like, why? And he just, you know, he had an extra one. So he thought I might like to have it. So I'm excited to start collecting for that. So thank you, Craig. That means a lot. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So you got to start somewhere, right? Well, I had to be careful. Um, you know, it's pretty pricey traveling so far from home. So I really had to be careful with my spending money. And I bought, you know, one maybe two uh, Sega Master System games. And I've seen some people in the community stream this before, so I was interested. So I went up to a booth, it was me and Linda, and I asked the guy, I said, how much for that game? And he goes, 10. But for you, he goes, I watch your channel, I enjoy your stuff, so five. Awesome, so whoever you are, if you're watching, please comment um, down below. Let me know your name. This is awesome, so I got Rambo. First Blood Part 2, so that's pretty cool. So I was excited to have that, so you can't complain. Five bucks, I'm telling you down there, complete. So that is my first Master System game, so I'm hyped right now. I'm very, I'm looking forward to playing that. The second Master System I got, Master System game, is Rocky. Yes, we have a theme going on here, guys. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Yes. I am a big Sylvester Stallone fan. So we got old school Rocky. That was a really good price as well. I got this for 10 bucks. And it is complete. So I thought that was pretty cool. Tyler from Generation Gap Gaming had an awesome panel. He did a trivia. You answer questions, you win a little prize. One of the prizes I won, Generation Gap Gaming sticker. So I thought that was pretty neat. This was tough because I almost chose Mullet Boy, but I have to go with the family, you know? <laughs> so I picked that. I also won something else. You're gonna see that in another video. Um, that it will not be my video. So hint, hint. And yeah, thank you so much, Tyler. Always a good time talking to you, I appreciate you. His channel is awesome, so please check him out. His link will be in the description below. Pixel Game Squad! So Aaron from Pixel Game Squad and NES Complex had a panel. And they did some really cool things as well. They were, uh, in their panel, they talked about 
guess the YouTuber. So it was a quiz. They did the same thing. So you guess the YouTuber. They show like a portion, like a part of their face and you have to guess who it is. You guess right, you win a prize. You could pick anything from the table. So yes, I won. I think the person I guessed was Game Day. And I got this cool Nintendo Power Magazine. You know how I am with that. And F-Zero X, awesome game. I love the F-Zero series. So thank you guys so much. That was a lot of fun. Now, this was one of the Nintendo Power Magazines I lost as a kid. So seeing this brought it back. It just brought it back. Now there's a story to this one. When I was a little girl, I used to read a Nintendo Power magazine and I could not remember which magazine it was. I even got it confused with Howard and Nestor, the comic strips, but I remember reading a story. And in this story, there was a little boy playing The Legend of Zelda and he was inside the TV. He was inside the TV with Link and they were eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And every time I talk about this to anybody, they look at me like, like I'm nuts. Like literally give me this look. Hear me out. I've been searching for this for months. Chris, video game dust leaves, you're my witness, and so are you, Linda. I decide to get this, and I was with Linda, and I asked her, I was like, man, I don't know if I should get it. She's like, get it. Why not? It's not, it's not, it's only 15 bucks. Get it. Wow. I'm like, I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do. I'm replacing them, but I don't think so. I took the risk. Guess what was in this magazine? Guess what was in this magazine? Jeez, how, how, we gotta bring it back, okay? 1989, man, woo! The Ninja, oh my gosh, the first Ninja Turtle game. Tough game. It's got the posters. Oh, look at that, I got the Mega Man poster in here. I mean, this is incredible, but that's not even what I'm excited about. Let me, let me show you what I'm excited about. The story is in this one. This is the story I was talking about. This guy. Oh, when I seen this, I literally almost teared. I was like, that brought it back. Wow. That's the kind of stuff I like, which is why I love JNES Addict's channel because he brings it back with his Nintendo oddities and that's why I slapped him at the panel. Hey. The other thing I picked up at the convention is ABE 8-Bit Eric shirt, ABE Nation from 8-Bit Eric himself. I've been good friends with Eric for quite some time now and it was awesome to see him at the convention. I definitely had to rock one of these. You guys know red's my favorite color. The last day of the convention, Gary Rock Solid Productions stopped by, made an appearance to see us all. It meant so much. He, he had a death in the family, which prevented him from spending the weekend with us like he was supposed to. And I didn't think he was going to make it. And he made it the last day just for a few hours to see us on his way back home. Gary, it was an honor to meet you, your wife, Ginger, and little Rock Solid. So I thought that she is so cute. So I had such a good time with you and your family. He gave me an awesome one-up card. Rock solid! Yes. And uh, he also wanted a slap in return. So he got that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Ow! That was good. The last thing I got, video game dust sleeves. What well, was actually the first thing. He sent his awesome custom-made sleeves. So Southeast Gaming Stream with the signatures. I got that, buddy. So something special will go in here. I just haven't decided what. And that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my pickups. I had a blast at this convention. Not needless to say, I did get this day one. This Die Hard Gamer Bros designed for the Southeast Game Exchange. Let me tell you something. It sold out on day one. So if you did not purchase this on day one, you were out of luck. They sold out like that. I am so happy to grab one of these. These, he did such an amazing job with these shirts. Look at this, look at this. I just, oh man, so so much talent. It is such a beautiful convention. Austin, 
thank you so much for setting this up. You did an amazing job. I know it was a lot of work, but I tell you what, it's something I'm always going to remember. You made us feel welcome um, and loved and everybody was nothing but nice. It was so much fun. It was very well organized. We appreciate you and I look forward to returning again next year at Southeast Gaming Exchange. So thank you guys for joining me and remember, promote positivity. Keep going, like I said, things, good things happen to good people. Some sooner than others, but it does eventually happen. So always keep a smile on your face, always push it forward and know that there's always tomorrow. So much love to you guys, and I'll see you guys later.